So it's the new year, we're back in the kitchen, we're finally gonna get the last room on the third floor sorted. I'm so excited about this. One of my favorite jobs when we're doing this sort of thing is chasing all the drafts around and you can really feel the drafts in here coming through because behind we've got a membrane before all of you ask. We've put a waterproof membrane um, in between and we've also put um, 40 mil plasterboard pretty much down the most of it. There's 20 mil on somewhere, we couldn't fit it with the joints of the beams, but it's got some really good insulation. And even just with that on so far, with a radiator on, you can feel it start to warm up in here, but we really need to get rid of the drafts. And that's where the plastering's gonna come in. So what you'll see us doing is tapering and jointing. Again, it's, it's a very different process to what I've done in the UK. I've plastered, I can plaster flat walls and stuff like that, but they don't do the same thing here and you can't buy the same sort of plaster. So what we do is we do taping and jointing, as you see, this was done before Christmas and, th and this is what we're aiming for. It's a nice flat wall here. So what you'll see with the plasterboard that you get, it's got two indents, so it comes round. Um, and what we do is we put a, a nice thin layer of plaster right the way down. We use our tape to go in between and that sits right in the joint and, and strengthens the joint. And then you cover it with plaster again. And we end up with a wall like this where it is absolutely smooth and you can't see the joints of the cracks. So that's what we're aiming for. So I'm now gonna get up here, get the rest done, and hopefully we'll have a draft free room soon. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that kind of motion. Just my kind of heat. Keep it on me, beat. Tested by the potion. Loads of the plastering done. It's yeah. now time for you and your mum to come give us a hand, really. Yeah, obviously you've been cracking on getting all the little bits done. Obviously it's looking fantastic. 
but it does get a little bit daunting because you're just constantly going over plastering it and then you have to go back over and sand it and then there's a couple there's of days where you feel like you've done nothing no. and, and you've done so much you've worked all day but yeah. you've got no further forwards or it doesn't look like you've got any further forward but this is just part of the process that we, we have to do yeah and um, to get it how we want it and to, and to make sure this is a room that we're not going to have to touch for the next 20 30 year really yeah 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 but all we're going to do now is I'm going to sort of follow you along. You're going to still carry on doing some of the, the taping and jointing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start sanding some of them down, mainly like around the beams, so we can have like a nice clean line with the beams because they're going to be the main focus for the room. Yeah, we're really going to highlight them. Quickly. That, that yeah. has to be the feature. It's so beautiful. It is, honestly. I think this is going to be our favourite room on the third floor. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be sat in here constantly. Well, we always spend time in our dining room in the, like in our old house in England, didn't we? Yes. We don't yeah. spend time sitting in the living room. We used to spend time and I'd cook and you'd sit and watch and we'd sit and do things together like that, so. Yeah, well, that's what we want in here as well. So we're going to have like a little seating area and we're going to have a dining area, mm -hmm. um, just so we, we can spend a lot more time in here. Yeah. And I think just with the roof structure, it's going to look fantastic. I think so too. So all I'm gonna do while you're doing that, mm -hmm. we've got our little sand and pads, which these are fantastic. They're just Rob again found these in action, action, didn't he? Yeah. He said to get some and ever since they've been our absolute godsend. Yeah, he's been a lifesaver, Rob, <laughs> which I can't wait until he comes back over this year. Love you love. <laughs> um but yeah, these are just foam pads and they're good because they only take like a little layer of them on them. So this looks really rough right now. If you can see all this, it looks as if it's been a really bad job done. Mm -hmm. But it's just the way that we have to do it. Because what I wanted to do here right the way around, instead of it being a flat into a flat, I want to try and curve it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it just follows. So the way that I've done it is, it, it is like that. We end up with these little lips because I like using my little spatula. I could use a bigger one, but I don't get the effect that I want. And it doesn't but give me the curve. this is level as well. You might notice, obviously, when we could do the wider shots, that from one point to the other, yeah. it sort of bores down. Yeah. And that's purely because we have to work with the, the roof structure that we've got. The beams that are here, we can't do anything about them. We have to try and fit this plasterboard around it. And there's little notches we've had to cut out the back to make it all fit and to, yeah. to make this as, as precise as we can. But it's not meant, we're not here to make this look absolutely perfect. This is meant to look as if it's been here forever yep. as well. So there's that aspect of it. Definitely. So I'm going to get on my little sanding pad and you're going to crack on with more taping and jointing. Yep, get that done and we'll have a room soon. We will. So it's finally here, the day has come. We're starting to paint up here. 
Um, Tracy and Terry have been up giving us a hand and, and getting the sanding done and, and help us get it finished because it is huge. So we've got one full side all plastered all the way at the very top. So we're going to start painting in between the beams now, painting all the plasterboard with the first coat. Just a white, it, it's not a, we haven't chosen the colour yet, I don't think we can until we um, find the kitchen that we're looking for. And we're going to go and start looking for them now because we, hopefully, we'll have it done by the end of this month. Um, we're on course too, so it's all good. So I'm going to crack on and get this all done. so sometimes I do get things wrong when it comes to doing stuff like this but again so do the plasterers so I've been told so when I was speaking to one of the plasterers that we know and um, he's in apprenticeship doing it now and um, he came and gave me some good advice so where we've joined two boards together here and um, as the, none of these walls are flat there's nothing we can do about that and um, we we get bubbles how, where we've tried to flatten it out or where we've tried to make it look flat so what I need to do is cut this little piece out um, and what I'll do is I'll cut that out completely and then plaster over it so that we end up with a completely flat facade. So we've cut the bubble out, plastered back over it. I'll need to do another little one later, just a little skim over, but it already looks better. I can't stand, it's one thing I've noticed where we've made little errors in the past. Um, I can't stand it and I want it to be absolutely as close to as good as perfect as I can get it. The walls aren't gonna be perfect in here because they're not flat, but I'm, I'll see it every day and it'll just draw my eye. So I wanna get it right. So I'll do this, get it all done. I'm gonna have some hopefully nice flat walls. So we've almost got a room. Got a room. It doesn't feel like a dirty, dusty box anymore. No, it's absolutely fantastic yeah. to, to finally get to this point where we're getting paint on the walls. Yeah. And well, one of my absolute favorite things that I've absolutely loved doing here, I didn't think I'd ever find pleasure in it, is chasing drafts. Yeah. Because as you're pushing them out, you can literally, bit by bit by bit, 
room gets warmer and it starts to feel alive again. Like yeah. we're down at the other end from the radiator now. I was, gonna say, I was just about to say that we've only got one radiator in here, mm -hmm. but it's absolutely boiling. It's lovely. Like I've had stripped down because it's too warm, but yeah. that's a nice place to be considering this was freezing. Well, if you look back from like day one when we very first came to how bad this was, yeah. it was so so cold because it was literally just the roof. Well, you could see out. Yeah. You could see out from under the like the tiles and everything because it, it, everything just blew, blew straight in. Yeah. The difference to today to be here in a, in a room, yeah. not just uh, like a dusty box is, is unreal. Yeah. So yeah, so it's definitely getting there. So the next stage is obviously looking at kitchens. So I think we'll plan a trip out to go and see what sort of kitchens we want. Yeah. We know sort of style that we want. Yeah, I think we're, we, we have to have something practical, practical and pretty and it's got yeah. to be workable. It's got to be in keeping with what we want up here though as well. So it's fine that balance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it's been fantastic to, to get back to work, get on it. I mean, you're finally working together. It's ages since we've worked together, like, because we've just all had our own and jobs. jobs. Yeah, it's just been a bit crazy, so it's, it's good to get back to work mm -hmm. and go forward. Yeah, we'll have a kitchen soon. We will. We'll need it here soon, mate. So we'll happy. Have a kitchen. But for now, we'll crack on with the last bit. Got a couple of last little bits to finish. Just finishing up. touches now, innit? Painting and that. But yeah, it's all good. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Definitely does. For now, we will see you on Sunday. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See you Sunday. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bringing back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon. With behind the scenes footage, updates, live chats, and your very own piece of the chateau.